In this video, we're going to look at a financial maths question where a timeline is very useful in answering the question, and that is when there's a change of interest rate in a bank account. So Paul invested 5,000 Rand in a bank account for a period of six years. For the first two years, he's going to pay 6,5, or he's going to earn 6,5% biannually, and for the remaining period, he's going to earn 7,2% per annum compounded monthly. How much is his investment worth? after six years. So our timeline is for a full six years. 5,000 Rand goes in at the beginning and it's there for two years at 6,5%. Now remember we have to express that as a decimal. So you'll go 6,5 divided by 100 to get 0, 0,065. And because the interest is compounded biannually, um, we are going to divide the interest rate by 2 but multiply the years by 2. After two years, the interest rate then changes to 7,2%. So remember, divide that by 100 to get 0, 0,072. And for this interest rate, we have a monthly interest rate. So we are going to divide the interest by 12 and multiply the years by 12. All right. So this is normal compound interest. So we're going to start with that 5,000 Rand and put it in the bank for two years. Now it's compounded biannually, so divide your interest rate by 2, multiply your years by 2. And if you do this calculation, it's actually going to be the p-value for your next calculation. All right, so we're going to get an answer, and then we're just going to multiply it by the change in interest. So instead of pushing equals on your calculator, because we might be tempted to round off too early, Rather just understand that that's the p-value. What comes after the p-value in the formula is the next interest bracket. So in my yellow circle, that's in fact my p-value. So what must come next is just my next interest bracket. And in this way, we only use our calculators once. So type it in exactly as you see it. You won't be tempted to round off too early. And our answer is far more accurate. Alright, with that next investment, it's compounded monthly, so we divide the interest by 12 and we multiply the years by 12. So type it in exactly as you see it, and you should end up with 7,572 Rand and 40 cents. Let's try one more. So Tavo invested 1,200 Rand for 9 years. First of all, he's going to earn 6,9% per annum, compounded half yearly for the first 3 years then 7,2% compounded quarterly for the next four years, and 12% compounded annually for the last two years. All right, so, um, and his investment is for a total of nine years. So on the timeline, we're just going to write down the different um, interests. So 6,9% would be 0, 0,069. Half yearly would happen twice. For the next portion then on the timeline, 7,2% divided by 100 is 0, 0,072. It's happening quarterly, so four times. And the last one is just an annual compounding of 0, 0,12 or 12%. All right, so it's compound interest and 1,200 Rand is going into the account. Um, the interest is being compounded half yearly, so twice. So we're going to divide that interest by 2 and multiply the years by 2. Now remember, this is just going to be my p-value for the next part of the calculation. And the next part of the calculation, there's a change in interest. Okay, so we're going to include a new interest bracket. Now this time the interest is being compounded quarterly, so divide by 4 and multiply the years by 4. But then this whole big calculation in the yellow circle is going to be my p-value for the next portion of the calculation. So just multiply by the next interest bracket. And in this way, we only type into our calculator once. We push equals once, so we round off once. We don't round off too early. And you should end up with 2,454 Rand and 51 cents. So with financial maths, if you round off too early, it is going to make a difference, especially in your decimals. And unfortunately, you will lose marks. So rather try and you find a method where you can only use your calculator once. And that's where this method works so well. So each time there's a change in interest, you just include another interest bracket. Thanks for watching Max Maths. If you liked what you saw, please like, share and subscribe.